Hi ghoulies, Queen of Halloween 365 back again. And this time I wanted to talk about actually how I got the name. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of a long story, but basically I've been called the Queen of Halloween almost my whole life. I think maybe when I was younger, it might've been the Halloween Queen. Everybody has known how much I love Halloween through definitely in my childhood, absolutely in my teen years, and even when people thought I was weird and strange and bizarre for loving it as much as I did, which was most of the time, um, they still knew that that's what I liked. So it was interesting. It got used a lot in, I think examples would be like, I remember I was at work. This was, you know, in my early 20s or whatever. And uh, wasn't doing a lot for Halloween those days, as I talked about in a previous video. But um, I had friends who knew that I loved it. So, for instance, somebody wanted to throw a Halloween party. Now, I wasn't invited to this party. <laughs> it was usually for their kids or whatever. But they would, I remember hearing, oh, you want to do Halloween? Well, Michelle's the queen of Halloween. You should ask her. And so people would come to me and they'd be like, well, where do I go to get this? Or what theme do you think I should do? And I would help people. Uh, I had a collection of costumes, so I would loan them out. I've loaned out Halloween costumes multiple times. And I do still have a collection of costumes because I just got smart and stopped throwing them away because they're good and you can reuse bits and pieces. So anyways, uh, that's pretty much how it started. And then the 365 got added on because I had a blog, which was thequeenofhalloween.com. And then I went on to Facebook and that, you know, the queen of Halloween, there was millions of them. So I had to differentiate myself. So I was like, well, I do think about it every single day of the year. <laughs> so I added 365 to the end of it. And that's how I became the Queen of Halloween 365.